In this video, we're gonna see how to upload your video to YouTube using Python and we're gonna use the YouTube Data API. So consider I have a YouTube channel here that I just created and all. So this is just a brand new channel where I don't have any content or any subscribers. So we're gonna see how to upload your video to this YouTube channel using Python. Consider when we go to content, we don't have anything. So let us see how to upload this video to this YouTube channel. You consider I have opened this documentation and I will provide a link in the description. You can check that also. So this is, this is a great reference that we can use to upload our YouTube video using Python. So since you are interested in Python, so select the Python language on the left hand side, you can see here. Now we got the Python quick start. First we have to select our library request size, you can see that we have to install the Python version 3.5 greater one. So you check the Python version, just open your command prompt and type Python. You can see that I have uh, installed the Python 3.12. So let me close this. Then we have to install this. Let me copy these and let me open up the command prompt and paste it here. So while that is uh, downloading, let me copy the second command now. So let me copy the second command and let's open up another terminal and paste the command here. And press enter. So just give you a few minutes. It will take some time. Consider the requirement already satisfied. Let me close this. This requirement already satisfied. Let me close this. Next, we have to set up our project and credentials. So we have to go to the Google Cloud to set up our project. Just open an entire by the Google console. Either you can directly go to this website or you can go to the website using the reference page. So you can click on EP console. You can see now also we will go to the Google Cloud console. Here, let me switch my account now. So let me switch my Google account. So here in this Google console, what we have to do is we have to create a project and then we have to get the authentication token that is the auth token you can consider this as a AV token so we have to create that one but first let's select a project now to create a new project just click on this and uh, click on new project give you a name for your project now in this case i'm gonna type it will be the upload python and that's it so let me make sure the recordings are working and click on create now now our project has been created successfully then what we have to do is just click on this select project this will select our project now you consider now we got youtube video upload this is our project that we created now then we have to create the client id that is the authentication token just click on api and services on the left hand side and click on enable api once you go to the enable api case then in the search bar just type youtube data api consider in the search bar just type youtube data ak consider now we got this youtube data api v3 here we have to enable this api just click on this enable button click on this enable button so this will take some time you consider if you scroll down consider google Cloud console has a lot of api jimmy api google api also now the youtube api has been successfully enabled consider it is now instantly successful so first we have to create the credentials. So to create the reconsider here, they provide all the uh, recurrent traffic data here. We create the credentials, just click on credentials on the left hand side. Consider here we have the API keys as well as the OR client ID. We need to create the OR client ID. So we need these, then only we can upload our video to YouTube using Python. So to create the OR client ID, what we have to do is just click on or create credentials because if you go to the upload your video on the uh, YouTube document is considered here we have to provide the client ID as well as the client secret so that's why we are getting the OR client ID so we have to paste this in the uh, JSON file so we will deal with this later but first let's get the client ID as well as the client secret right now and to do that just click on create credential and select the OR client ID consider first we have to uh, select this consent screen. We consider to create our client ID. We have to select the consent screen. Just click on this button. Just give a name for your app. In this case, you can give randomly YouTube icon and then uh, select my email ID. Click on next and select external and select next. If contact information type or email ID and click on next and just click on this terms and condition and finally click on finish and click on create. Now we have created our custom screen then we can create our word client ID considered just click on create over client 
and the application type is desktop because we are interacting with the users to your code right so select the desktop and give a name youtube python upload and just click on create it will give us the client area as well as the client secret consider now we got the client area as well as the client secret so if you go to the documentation now let me go to the documentation so we have to copy these and paste it in a special file called the client secrets.json so we have to create this file now so you can see that on the desktop we have a project folder so let me open this project folder in the visual studio code so let me select the visual studio code and now open it now so let me create the client secrets.json file now so client secrets so let me make sure the file name is spelling so this is client secrets.json so let me rename in these two client secrets.json so make sure you get the name properly then only it will work client secrets.json and here is the uh, code now so let me go to the edge and let me copy this now so we have to paste this so let me paste it here here we have to replace the client id as well as the client secret to get the client id go to the google console and let me copy the client id and place the client id here and we also need to copy the client secret and paste it here let me copy the client secret as well and uh, replace this with the client secret and that's it now we done work with the client secret we can close it now then let me click on ok here we have to add our email to the test users then only we can test it now for that just click on audience and select the test users under the test users select the add users so we have to add our email ID then we can work with the ab key that we created now so type your email ID here and click on save and click on save now consider under the test users i have added my email ID we have completed our work on the google console then if you go to the upload your video page you consider if you scroll down they give, give you a sample code here but if you carefully observe the sample code what you have noticed is that this is a python 2 code you can understand this by looking at this print statement so if you scroll down so let me find the print statement now you can see that for the print statement we don't have any parentheses this syntax is used for the python 2 so we have to convert this to python 3 let me copy these and i'm gonna create a new python file so let me create a python file now so main.py and paste the code here so we have to convert this to uh, python 3 so don't worry i will provide the updated code in the github you can check that out so we have to convert this to python 3 so let me fix the changes now so for the python 3 we don't need this http library let me clear this also and for the python 3 it is updated to google let a client so let me copy this and replace this to the other two libraries then or remove these three lines or oh, let me remove this and after that what we have to do is so oh, let me scroll down to find any other things that we want to change if you scroll down so let's, let's replace the print statement now so let me close this print statement with the parentheses let's also include this one with the parentheses so let me find the next print statement let's also include this with parentheses here also so let me scroll down to find the last one so this is the last print statement so let's also include this within parentheses so let me make sure that we have fixed everything so this is replace the command with as except as to be error as e so let me check double time so you can see that So let me make sure that the code is clear for the Python 3. You consider here also replace the command with as except has to be error as e. Here also change this to as. I think that's it. The code is now perfect. I will provide the I'll break that code in the GitHub. You can check that out. So I will provide the GitHub link in the description. Next, we need a video to upload, right? So let me copy and paste the video to this project folder. 
so i have a video in my screen recording so let me copy this video so let me copy this video and paste it into our resource to record so let me paste the video here and i'm gonna rename this video consider this is a sample video so let me rename this video so that we can easily call this video so python to upload this is our video name so let me close this so to run this what we have to do is we have to run this to the command prompt so in the search bar just type cmd just to open up the cmd in the uh, current folder so just type python manage that people if you get any error like this that is the arguments are equal and all the libraries are installed successful you can also find the libraries list in the requirements.txt file in the github so we have forgot to install this or 2 client so just copy and paste the or 2 client library let me close this so now we can run this now so to run this go to the documentation now so let me clear the screen consider we provide the usage you have to use the arguments now so let me clear the screen and let me go to the documentation to find all the arguments so if you scroll up so let me scroll up consider we have to attach the file by using the file argument consider to run this we have to use the python file name and f and f and file equal to and we have to pass the location name so let's try to do that now so python manage.py so python main.py f and f and file so since both my python file and the video are located in the same place i will copy the file name only that is the relative part but if the video is located in the different location then we have to pass the full location so file equal to video to upload that mp4 then we have to pass the title so under iphone iphone title so title equal to how to upload a video to youtube using python how to upload youtube video using python so this is our title then we can uh, also attach the description so iphone iphone description equal to upload your video to youtube using python upload your video using python and youtube it so this is our description then if you want then we have the category here so let me show you what the category means actually if you go to the youtube studio and click on upload your file so let me for sample i'm going to upload your video so i will delete this video so if you select this video because I am explaining what the category means so if you scroll down so let me scroll down and if I click on show more here you can see we have the category right so for this category we are giving the number by default we are selecting the category 22 that is the people and blogs so let me cancel this video upload so let me cancel this now we don't have any content I have cancelled that one for the demonstration purpose only I have uploaded the video now if I refresh the page you can see that now I, I don't have any content consider when we go to the content consider i don't have any content so let's choose the category now so iphone iphone category equal to it will be 22 that is a people and blog next the privacy status is private the video will be automatically set to private because we have attached the thumb thumbnail right so that's why we are attaching to private mode and that's it or if we can do this we can simply press enter now we have attached the file title description our keyboards, category and as well as the private status that is the visibility status and press enter so we consider python main that file this is our python file then we have attached a video using the video or file argument this is our video and this is our title and this is our description and this is the category list and this is our private status and press enter it will ask you to authenticate so let me select my gmail address for the first time it will ask you to authenticate so click on continue since this is our own app right you can continue you consider the authentication flow as completed if you open up the terminal you consider uploading file so if it takes some time to upload depending on the file size and if you go to the youtube studio and click on refresh consider all your video as uploaders consider uploading file and the youtube studio also we got a video here so it will take some time to upload once it is uploaded it will give the i consider now we got the video id here our video was successfully uploaded 
So if you try to refresh the page multiple times, you can see the Navigati video, but it shows processing. So if you click on this edit icon, So let me click on this edit icon. Consider this is our description that we give in the command prompt. Consider in the command prompt, we have to give upload your video using Python and YouTube API. This is what we have in the YouTube description also. So for the category considered when we go to the category you now, people and blocks. This is the category number 22. This is the same category that we have selected. And the privacy mode is priority consider. Every single theme mode is set to private. So if you want, as well, this is the video, same video that I shown you in Visual Studio Code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the uh upload this video node. So let me change the visibility to public node. So if you want, you can also attach the tags automation, Python automation. So I'm going to change the visibility to public. So yeah, I will also provide the updated code in the description. You can see the load. In the description, you can find it with the plane. So I'm going to change the visibility to public and publish this video now. So I think that's it. So this is it. This is how you upload your video to YouTube using Python. So in the GitHub, I want to provide this. So you have to create this. But I will provide this updated code in the this uh, GitHub. So yeah, this is for this video. I will continue in the next one. If you want, I will also attach a link for this video in the description. Also, if you want to view it, you can check that out.